Hi everyone, my name is Sue Lin and I'm currently a third year at Northeastern University and I'm studying abroad in Korea at Yonsei University and today's video I'm going to show you guys my off-campus apartment. I got an Airbnb that I'll link below in case you guys are interested. Um, in Korea, they have things called office towels, which are just basically like one room and studio apartments. First things first, my favorite part about Korean apartments is the fact that we have electronic doors, aka these keypad things. You just tap it and you put in your code and it opens so i never have to worry about forgetting my key or anything like that you just have to make sure obviously you use a code that is easy to remember for you but first things first coming right into the apartment most if not all korean apartments and like houses have this little like front door area and this is just because in korea you don't wear your shoes indoors um that's a big no-no it's a very small space off the bat but it's very efficiently made so for one thing there's a lot of these like drawers and spaces storage um, one thing in Korea is that they do separate recyclables so I have like vinyls plastic cans and bottles back there obviously I have not gone to recycle yet because I'm too lazy so this door doesn't even close but these are for all the other shoes and then again we recycle so this is paper and then coming in this is the kitchen space. A little messy right now, don't judge. But it comes with a washer. All of these are storage spaces. And there's a little sink. I made some, I have a yogurt maker <laughs> because Greek yogurt is really expensive. <laughs> um, and obviously, and as you can see, it's very much like efficiently using the space. There's a little hot plate attachment here so I can cook. My favorite part, of this place is actually this obviously it looks so clean it doesn't look like you know it just looks like maybe a drawer but it is in fact the fridge and I love it so much I don't know why it's just like such a pretty way to include the fridge in a sense this is the freezer and then to my left right next to the entryway is the bathroom Again, don't judge, but also another thing in Korea is that you generally we use separate slippers for the bathroom. And also, the whole space is tiled so that you can get pretty much everything wet in here. Um, because usually there's not even this separation between the shower and the rest of the bathroom. Um, but I was kind of particular when looking for my Airbnb and got a nice shower that is in fact separated just because I'm used to it and kind of particular about it. Again, toilet. Um, mine doesn't have a bidet, but usually Korean um, bathrooms do. Sink. This mirror thing that's also a drawer for all the other necessities. Again, just like overall efficient use of the space. This is my own personal mirror that I got. Um, it's over the door. This is a cool thing in Korea. So in Korea, there's usually a security guard at each like apartment. In each room, there's going to be one of these things. Um, and when someone rings the doorbell for you downstairs where they need a code to get into the apartment, um, the camera will show up here and show who it is so you can approve. And it'll also show you who's in front of the door. There's also a camera um, where the doorbell is. So that when someone rings your doorbell, you don't have to like go up and like see through a door hole. <laughs> There's just a camera so you can see who it is and then go open the door. Another thing is that Korea is very particular about energy cons conservation, hence all of the recycling and separates. Um, we actually also recycle food waste separately, so I keep it frozen in this little baggie um, with all my food waste. But because of that, most places will actually have a boiler so that you don't, you're not always having the heat on if you don't need it. So you'll turn this on before you shower and it heats up really quickly. But that's another somewhat Korean quirk. 
And then now this is the main living space. Again, a little messy, don't judge. Um, there's a microwave built in. And then there's this little area. This is my rice cooker, water boiler. Ignore the other stuff. <laughs> And there's actually a pull-out attachment if you decide you need more table space. This is my desk space. That is a TV that came with the Airbnb. Um, <laughs> this little snack I got. Um, but as you can see, it's a good amount of desk space, especially because these days everything's online anyway. So I really only need my laptop and my iPad. So I don't really need that much space for like papers or anything like that. Those two doors over there are drawers and then more drawers up here. There's definitely a lot of storage space, which is really nice. This is my bed. Um, nothing crazy. By the way, that is my... AC. Don't worry, there's a remote control so I don't have to like reach up there. I got this all on Coupang. It's basically Korean's version of Amazon except in Korea because Korea is way smaller than Amazon. Delivery is amazing so most of the time you can order something and get it the next day. This is my closet area. I kind of don't want to open it because I don't know if it's very clean. I'm not going to show this part but... <laughs> This is my little closet. Um, surprisingly, a good amount of space. I was worried about it because I have a lot of clothes, but I can in fact fit everything. In Korea, um, most places will have washers, but they won't have dryers. And so I also have this fun little drawer down here. So it's a built-in drying rack, which is super, super nice because it doesn't take up space and I can pull it out really easily. And that's really it. I mean, it's pretty small, um, but completely, totally enough space for one person. And especially if you've lived in a dorm at all, uh, you'll understand this is so much more space than you might even be used to in a dorm. So it's pretty nice. It's comparable to a dorm, except it has more amenities, like your own bathroom and a kitchen. So yeah. It's small, but it's my off-campus Korean apartment. Hopefully you enjoyed this apartment tour. It's a very small space, so not much to show you guys really. But thank you for watching. I hope this helped. Um, and I, again, I will link the Airbnb down below if you guys are interested. But again, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you're interested in seeing more of my Korean, adventures although i haven't uploaded any yet um i also have a youtube channel at sulin.k that i'll link below but thanks for watching and i'll see you in a next video bye